Importing a module executes all the code in that module. This is what you want if the module contains function definitions, but if there is other code, then you can often have unexpected behavior. In this video, we'll demonstrate that, and then we'll show you how to fix it. In the palindrome functions, versions 1 and 2 both used a function called reverse. We copied and pasted that function from version 1 to version 2, but that created duplicate code. If we find an error in function reverse, we would have to fix it in both places. This is clearly not a good situation. Instead, we could have imported version 1 into version 2. Before we get to that, though, let's add some code at the bottom of version 1 to ask the user for a word and report whether it's a palindrome. When we run this module, we're asked to type a word, and then we're told whether or not that word was a palindrome. Now let's delete the reverse function from version 2, and instead import the one from version 1. We're about to run this version of our code, and notice that we have no code down here that calls input or prints anything. But when I run this module, because we're importing palindrome v1, we're asked to enter a word. And we're told whether or not it's a palindrome. The problem is that when we import palindrome v1, not only is it doing the function definitions, it's also executing the code at the bottom, even though we don't want that to happen here. I wouldn't be able to have my own program where I called input and print because that stuff is happening in the first version. We need a way to specify that this code should only be run when this is the module that uh, we're selecting run module on, and not when we import that module. Every module has a variable called name. Because this variable is built into Python, it begins and ends with two underscores. Let's print its value in this program. When we run this module, we see that variable underscores name refers to the string containing underscores main because it is the main module being run. Switch back to version 2 and run this again. Notice the value of the module name now. When we ran the program and imported palindrome underscore v1, when we got to the print statement, the underscores name variable referred to the string palindrome v1, not underscores main. 